Hey everyone, Seth from Turner Mobile Detailing here. We want to make a video series for all you folks who live in apartments and would like to detail your vehicles. You, if you found this video, then you probably know the dangers of drive-through car washes. You'd like to do it yourself. You don't have free-flowing water and you don't have hookup to electricity. So stay tuned for this series. Tonight we're going to show you how to clean your wheels with no access to electricity or free-flowing water. So let's get started. So at the same time, we're going to be doing a review of the Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner. This is the first time that I've actually used this. I've seen videos online about it and reviews. However, this is my first experience with it. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully you can see this wheel is pretty bad. It is my wife's car and it has been washed or cleaned in about two months. I've neglected it a little bit. So before we get started, this is what I like to use. A one gallon pump sprayer. You can get these anywhere. I think I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond a while back. But it work, works real well for small cleaning jobs like this. So I like to get the wheel wet first. Even some of the brake dust came off already. <clears throat> and if you can tell, I like using these gray industrial sprayers because they give you better they're heavy duty and they give you better control over your spray pattern this stuff is already going to town see that we bring it in close here see all that disgusting runoff so I let that sit for a minute or so now we're gonna agitate and while we're at it I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the do the wheel wells too. Might as well, right? Spray it down with some super clean. I gotta have this diluted about uh, two to one, three to one maybe. And it's in this bucket. I've just got some concentrate Diablo wheel gel. It's not the strongest stuff in the world you think it would be given the name. I got some left over, so I figured I might as well use it. Usually I just use some good old Dawn dish soap in my wheel bucket here. here first. Obviously I filled the bucket up in the house before it came out in the bathtub. <clears throat> Fire. So that brown goodness. Pretty gross, huh? But I've heard a lot of good things about Adam's wheel and tire cleaner so far. They're all true. Get that wheel well. Some of the body mold coming off. This isn't going to be a super extensive detail. Just want to kind of show 
how this cleaner works and more importantly how to clean a wheel when you live in an apartment. Okay, so now let's rinse her off. Now using a pump sprayer like this, obviously it takes a little longer to rinse off because you don't have the power of a pressure washer or even a garden hose. But it uh, still gets the job done. I wouldn't use it to wash my car in its entirety because it is very slow and it does not produce enough water pressure to be effective really at all. But for something like the wheels, it works, even though you gotta repressurize it every few minutes. That's about it. And there you have it. Wheel is clean, totally clean, nothing there. So now we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, so the tire has had a chance to dry. And as you can see, it is pretty clean and looks really good. This stuff did an excellent job. I'm very happy with it. Uh, traditionally, I usually clean my wheels at least twice before I dress them. Unless I'm doing a permanent tire coating, then I clean them four to six times, actually with heavier duty solution than this. But in this case, uh, for a quick cleaning, an effective cleaning, Adam's Wheel and Tire Cleaner did a really, really good job. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And check us out on social media, too. The links will be in the description below. And again, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.